Good morning, everybody. Stets on Stets Lanka here. It is Wednesday morning, guys, and it's a little chilly. It's really not too bad, like upper 50s. I'm so excited, though. I love this weather so much. Uh, I got the trailer loaded up, as you guys saw. We don't take the 36 today because we just mainly have big yards. So leave the 36 here, take the 60 inch. And of course, these are the backups. Um, but anyway, hopefully, you guys are all doing well and uh, making that money. Hopefully you guys' grass is growing. And down here in Oklahoma, it's kind of stopped growing. We're uh, almost gone every two weeks for the most part. Uh, most yards are every two weeks now because it's just not growing, man. So I'll show you guys today because uh, we skipped all these yards last week. So I'll show you how much it grew in two weeks. And it's because A, it's been so hot here uh, the past month and we didn't get any rain for like two months. So the grass didn't grow that already happened. Now we're getting into the 50s at nighttime. And so that is uh, not helping either, but had to buy a, another new trailer tire uh, last week because we had another nail. I've never had this much issues with trailer tires, man. Like these tires have, I've bought four tires this year and I've only had this trailer since March. Um, and so it, it also seems the back ones wear out faster too. But I have two new back ones and the front ones I think are still the stock ones. But I replaced the back ones twice on each side. That's kind of annoying. I just didn't know if you guys had any had those issues also, if there's any tips and tricks. I know there's not really any tricks to get rid of nails in the tire <laughs> or to not have to buy new tires, but uh, it's just something I thought of. It's real annoying, man, having to buy a whole bunch of tires over and over. But part of business and it's a tax write-off, so whatever. But all right, we're going to head back to the house, wait for the guys to show up, and then we're going to get mowing today. So catch you guys at the first yard. All right, guys, we are at the first yard of the day, this corner lot. And uh, we're gonna get it mowed, mowed up. Uh, like I said, it's been two weeks since we cut this. And it looks like it was just cut, I mean, not even a week ago. It's not, like some places didn't even grow. But the only thing is guys, grass is soaking wet since it's uh, morning time and whatnot. So grass is soaked. But anyway, let's get it done. Got this one done. Uh, this one's cut on three and a quarter, so 3.25. And it always looks good, but this is probably one of the last mows of the season for this one. Uh, just like I said, yards aren't growing. Maybe one more, one more mow. But anyway, we'll see. We're gonna head to the next one, so we'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, what's up? So we are at the next yard. This pretty big yard. And uh, we use the Toro for the field in the back, the right in the front. And I'm gonna record Carlos mowing the field with the Toro. So that'll be cool, you guys get some Toro action. I think I've only recorded that like one time this year. So I need to get some more Toro action in. I'm not sure if the field grew that much. Cause here's the front yard. It really didn't grow much at all. And it, we haven't mowed here in two weeks. So anyway, let's get uh, Carlos recording.
He went to go weed it over there. And Hector took the right over there. And he missed that whole spot right there. So he's gonna have to go back to the right and all that. Sorry, I had to expose you. <laughs> well, not sure if you guys heard Carlos, but I don't know if you could hear him over the mower, but I completely forgot to mow this little square section. Wow. That is uh, a rookie mistake. That's funny. So, all right, well, I guess I'll do that, but we're basically done here blowing off, so I will uh, catch you guys at the next yard. We're at the next one. Really didn't grow much. It's been two weeks. There's some areas. I guess I should go check out the backyard. We got a really nice pool there. We do push mow and bag back here. Hasn't really grown much as well, but get it nice and cleaned up for them, um, which is what we're here for, of course. But anyway, I'll uh, go ahead and record me mowing the front and then we'll get on with it. But it's a really nice day. It's really beautiful out here. It's like 75 right now. Favorite time of year right now is fall. So, all right, let's get it done. Okay, so we are at the next one. This is one of my favorite yards to mow just because of the view, man. So we've got the park and the lake over here. And then we've got the neighborhood lake over there. Uh, but we use the 48 back here. And uh, like I said, one of my favorite yards to mow, but this is the last one of the day because we had to skip a few. So it's just been such a weird time, guys, just with the, the weather, how the weather's been cooperating. So we've had to skip a lot of yards and have a lot of short days, but we made it up with getting caught up on landscape jobs. So that's good too. But we're gonna get this mode. So let's do it. So we got this done. I guess I got it done in mode. I need to come back and blow still, but looking good, man. Like I said, this is the last one. So we'll catch you guys back at the uh, shop here in a little bit. You guys catch that? Got it done first try. Look at everything fits in here. Perfectly and snugly, man. Perfect. 
Can't complain, perfect size shop for me. Perfect, man. Um, let me get the trailer unhooked and we'll do some talking. All right, we've got the trailer all unhooked. We are good to go. Uh, but before I go, I do wanna ask you guys real quick what you do and uh, these type of situations. Uh, as you guys all know, Halloween is right around the corner. It's like a couple weeks away, I think. And a bunch of people have their Halloween decorations out. And uh, most, almost all my clients now, they know not to put stuff in the yard and whatnot because I've, I've told them in the past uh, if they would please refrain from doing so. You know, I still get a couple here and there of clients that put a couple small things in the yard, which isn't too big of a deal if it's only, you know, one or two things you should move out of the way or go around. I'm just curious what you guys do um, when it comes to, you know, decorations for fall and Halloween and all that stuff. And uh, if you guys, you know, have you ever had to fire a client because of that? Um, I've, I know people who have, you know, fired clients because A, they won't move them or B, they just put them there just to be petty just because the guy asked them not to. Um, I know that, but you know, most of the times whenever I ask somebody, hey, can you just please make sure this is not in the yard when we get there. Um, it, most of the time that, that works. Works out and the clients care um, and they will move them out of the yard. But I'm just curious what you guys do in the situations, if you ever fired anybody or if you tell your clients to move them or if you charge extra to, cause you have to do more weed eating or whatever it is in case they had, you know, their stuff's full. Or if you skip yards, I've skipped yards before. Um, especially this time of year when they're not growing. I'll skip them if they have, you know, a crap ton of decorations in the yard, like spider webs and all this stuff all over the grass, you know, like those crazy pictures you see. I've sure I've skipped the, the, those all month before and waited until after uh, Halloween when they take them down to uh, mow. So just curious what you guys do. Uh, what I do is I just tell my customers now to to please move stuff. And for the most part, they'll do that. And I'm, I, just, I don't know if you fire them or whatever you do. Uh, but I, I know that, you know, customers can get fired for stuff like that. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. One more quick question before you go. Do any of you guys have a shovel like this? This is a all steel shovel. It was pretty pricey from my local landscape supplier, but this thing will not bend or snap or break or anything. And it came with a little foot pad. Um, I went and bought that last week because all my little cheap Home Depot shovels, they always break and all this stuff. So I figured I'd buy a nice shovel. That one, man, it didn't bend or do, it didn't snap or anything when I was digging out some big, pretty big root balls from some bushes. Um, and I gotta actually do more on Friday. So I'll probably end up recording that job on Friday. So this little landscape job we gotta do or I will be taking that shovel. I'm just curious, uh, it's a Corona shovel. Really, really heavy duty shovel. Uh, worth every penny in my opinion. But anyway, we will catch you guys in the next video, which may be later this week. We'll see. So, see you guys then. Peace out.